OK, so now we've got our dancer working. However, I'm not particularly impressed with the tune we've got. This drum's getting a little bit annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to tweak this script and we're going to create a separate one for a music loop. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to move this out and I'm just going to get rid of, by detaching and dragging into the middle, the drum sounds. So just the drum sounds, like so. And what we're going to have is we're going to have... a wait command in between these and in between these like so so it's going to pause a little bit so it's going to move 10 steps switch to the next costume and then wait but I don't want it to wait a whole second I want it to wait half a second so I'm going to use 0 0.5 in there and 0 0.5 in there so we'll just test that there'll be no drum sound now because we've removed those instructions from our algorithm so there we go. So we've got a little half second wait between switching. What I'm going to do now is put a separate loop in to play my music. So I need another when green flag clicked script. And then I need sound. And I can play sound. I can then choose. I've got dance celebrate, so I'll use that. I'm going to put that in a loop. So control and forever. I'm going to drag that into there. So now if we play this you get a pretty horrible sound because my loop isn't working properly so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to sound and I think in the new version of Scratch you've got this play sound until done which you can use instead of a loop. So I'm going to use that instead. So let's try that and hopefully it'll sound a bit better this time. There we go. So I've got that. Now what I could do with this is I could put it in a forever loop, hopefully. Let's see, play until done. So that should repeat. Got to wait a second, see if he gets to the end and goes back to the start. It does, it goes all the way back to the start, so my dancer is now dancing. There we go. So, once you've done that, you're ready for the extension task. So move on to the next video to find out what to do.